Okay, so again, we are starting right here with this first inequality, y is greater than x minus two. We're starting with negative two on the y-axis. We're gonna go back and look, our slope is invisible one, so that means it's one over one. one. So that means I'm just gonna go up and over one, up and over one. But remember as we're graphing these, it, we have to pay attention to is it a solid or dashed line, yes? And this one is greater than, not greater than or equal to, just greater than, so what kind of line are we using? We're gonna use a dashed line. And I really want you taking that boundary line all the way across the graph. Before we graph the second line, we need to also shade this for the area of the greater than. Which part of this is above the line? The left side or the right side? The left side. So we're going to be graphing or shading this region up here. Just do a real quick shade in. And then we're going to graph the second line and shade that. That's what makes this a system when we're looking at where the shading overlaps. Okay? So, pencils in the air if you're ready to graph the second line. I know some people are still shading. Okay, about five more seconds. Excellent. Our second inequality is y is less than or equal to negative x plus 1. So we're going to start at plus 1. I always think about these, like you graph them backwards. You start with what's on the right, then you deal with the slope, then you deal with the inequality symbol. We normally read things left to right, but these we read them really right to left. Our next, so we've done our plus one. Our next thing is our slope and it's negative and it's an invisible negative, so what number is there? So it's negative one over one. So I'm going down like this. Solid or dashed line? Solid. Solid. Oops, I really made my line long. <laughs> it's going on forever. <coughs> Take your other color. And this one is less than or equal to, so it's going to get shaded underneath it here, yes? So shade that whole area underneath that boundary line. And this is where it can get fun deciding what colors you're going to use because you can make it look really cool. And I'm going to put the book underneath the camera for a moment because I want to show you guys the definitions without me making you all get out the book. It says here, a system of linear inequalities is made up of two or more linear inequalities. Solutions of a system of linear inequalities are ordered pairs that make all of the inequalities true. There's a whole bunch of possibilities, and you guys know that. If we're dealing with inequalities, there's not just one answer. There's a lot of answers, right? The area where the answers for the, this set of inequalities is in the double shaded area. So the green section would be true for the first inequality. My purple section would be true for the second inequality, but only this section that's shaded with both colors has ordered pairs that work for both. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pick an, uh, an ordered pair. Let's pick negative 6, comma, 2. Bless you. And I'm going to prove to you guys, you don't need to do this as well, I'm just going to do it on some scratch paper here, that both of these inequalities are true with really any point that's in this double shaded region. I'm just choosing one to, to show it. So my inequalities are y is greater than x minus 2. 
please look up here because you don't need to do this right now. It will be on the video if you want to go back and take notes later. Those are my two inequalities and I've picked negative six, two as an ordered pair that I found in the region that's double shaded. And I'm gonna put this x, y pair into the x and y of these two inequalities and prove that when I plug them in, it's true. So this would be rewritten as two is greater than negative six minus two. Two is greater than negative eight. Is that a true statement? So this checks. And then two is less than or equal to negative, negative six plus one. What happens to my negative, negative six? Right, there's an invisible one here that's getting multiplied with it. So that's a positive six plus one. Two is less than or equal to seven. Is that true? So any ordered pair that is in this double shaded region, you could pull and try them out in your inequalities and show that they're true. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Again, anything up here in my green region would be true for this one, and anything down here would be true for this one, but only this section is true for our system for both. You guys ready to practice a couple more? Let's just do some graphing. Above the second one, I would like you to write the system y is less than 2x and y is greater than negative 3. If y is less than 2x, that means that my plus b, or my y-intercept, must be 0 because it's not there. So that means I started the origin. And what is my slope? 2 over 1. Two over one. So I'm going to go up 1 and over, or up 2 and over 1. Up 2 and over 1. Both of these are just a less than or an equal to, neither of them have, or a less than or greater than, neither of them have the or equal to. Both of these lines are going to be dashed. This is y is less than, so I'm going to shade it underneath notice with the next one there's no x term is there but what we do have is negative 3 that means we're going to come down to negative 3 and if there's no x term, that means it got multiplied by 0, which means the slope is 0. And which direction does 0 slope go? Straight across. So it's going to be a dashed line going straight across. And? It said y is greater than negative 3, so where are we shading? Up above. That means that all of my answers for this system are in this section over here. I'm going to take you guys back into your notebooks. We glued in a while ago this graphic organizer. Can you find it, please? We glued it kind of interestingly because we'd written on the back, if you remember. And I told you we would come back to this later because when you open it up, what do you notice on the inside? Thank you. 
these top two are not equations, they are inequalities. It was before that. It was one of the first things that we did behind the blue tab. It's like a page into the blue tab. I have extras I haven't glued to. <laughs> okay, we are going to work on this top left one together, and then I'm going to give you guys some work to do to practice. Is this inequality in y equals mx plus b form? No. So we need to convert it to that in order to graph it. I'm going to add the one to both sides, and I get y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1, and the extras are by the door. I like to do these one at a time because you've got to do all of the shading and everything for each inequality. So let's just go ahead and graph it, that first one, now that we have it in the right form. Starting at the right side with the plus one. Our slope is two, so we're going up and over. Two over one. It is less than or equal to, so what kind of line are we doing? A solid line, I heard it. Good. And if it's greater or less than or equal to, where are we shading? Below. Down below. I'm going to use red this time. Our second inequality has a couple things we have to do to it. We need to move the 2x, so let's subtract it. And we get negative 5y is greater than negative 2x plus 10. And then what are we doing with the negative 5? And it's, if we're dividing by a negative, what happens to the inequality? It flips. So I always do that first just so I don't forget it. So negative 5 is going to get divided into all of these. Oops, I made my symbol a little too close. So I get y, instead of greater than, is now less than positive <clears throat> 2 over 5x minus 2. This 10 divided by negative 5. So I'm going to go down to negative 2 to start graphing this one. And my rise over run is going to be 2 over 5. This is less than, so it is going to be a dashed line. <clears throat> and since it's less than, we're shading where? Down below. And our double area is where we would find our solutions. So for practice work today, I'm going to expect you guys to skip this one. I'm holding off on the one with absolute values for now. We'll come back to it at another time. But I would like you to do these two. This one is a system of inequalities, and this one is a system of equations. And then in our book, we're going to come back, and I want you to use the last six graphs on here. <coughs> on page 175, I would like you to do numbers 16 through 
through 21. And then try 28 and 29, which are like yesterday where you see the graph and you're going to try to write what the system is that's graphed on the graph. Okay?